Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode and if this is your first time here, my name is Melanie Kate Love. I make videos every Monday and Thursday teaching you how to learn to love yourself, flaws and all, trust your intuition and to manifest your heart's true desires. Now with all of that, I basically infuse all of that beautiful delicious goodness into two series. So what you're watching right now is weekly angel guidance which happens every single Monday and then on Thursdays we have self love infuse law of attraction delicious goodness so this week in weekly angel guidance it's a powerful week so much so that the energies that we're going to be talking about through probably the end of this reading is going to set you up for the next six months I know right I'm going to talk you through the three phases of the mood and tell you why it's so important so we're starting the week off in the last quarter this is asking us to breathe with ease and give back from a place of love now this energy was carrying carrying forward from last week when we're talking about the balancing of receiving abundance and then giving back from a place of love so this is only going to be just for Monday. Then on Tuesday, we move into my favorite, favorite time. We move into the balsamic moon, which is asking us to reflect with gratitude and to take time to rest. If you have been a beautiful MK Love fan for a while, you would know that during the balsamic moon, I take four days off social media, I disconnect, I go into nature and reconnect my body, my mind and soul. And I find that this truly helps and it works wonders. So if you're writing to me on Instagram, there will be no response. And I do this as a way to protect my energy, to ground myself in preparation for the new moon. So we're going to be moving into the solar eclipse new moon in, ca in Cancer actually. And your affirmation is, I reset my intentions and feel the emotions associated. This is a perfect time to get cracking on the vision board. I made that video about three weeks ago. So if you haven't already started working on your vision board, then this is what you need to do going into this solar eclipse new moon in Cancer. This is just, I can't even tell you how powerful it is. The last time we had eclipse season, I got engaged. Like I'm talking massive milestones, transformation. This is the time when people can start businesses. This is the time when people have children, get married. It's just absolutely massive, but there is a lot of work involved for this to run smoothly. So if you have been working through your blockages, then things are going to be going great. If they haven't, then there's going to be mirrors to you from the universe where it's going to show you areas that um, are like your wounds that you need to work through so you can become in alignment with your higher self. So lots and lots involved. Let's get some energies so far. Actually, by the way, I'm using the Shadowscapes Tarot. So let's just see what we need to know just for Monday. What do we need to know for the third quarter, angels? By the way, this is just a general reading. So just take from this what feels best for you. If you want more detailed clarity, clarity and have it more specific to you, then please book yourself a private reading. This is probably the most powerful time to have a reading. And I usually have a spike in clients during this time. So please get in quick because I only take can you see this? <laughs> I think it's the first one. Yeah, the first one wants to fall. Okay. So yeah, if you want a private reading, there's a link in the description. Make sure you book it because it's going to set you up for the next six months. Okay, the first card that just came through is the Fool. This is like starting this brand new chapter. It's like you're breathing with ease because you know, if you look to Weekly Angel Guidance last week, that we had planted the seeds and some of you have planted seeds, but you haven't reaped the harvest yet. And it's like, it's okay. It doesn't matter where you are. You're planting these beautiful seeds and they're going to sprout when the time is right. It's like you need to plant these seeds and allow divine timing to take its cause. And if you're doing your self-love practices, please check out my self-love starter kit. If you haven't already checked it out, oh my gosh, 
I teach you three fabulous strategies in there. I've got a morning mindset audio. I've got a five minutes to bliss guided meditation and a self-love practices workbook to help you identify what does self-love literally look like for you? Because let me tell you something, you're definitely, definitely going to need it. So, well, you always need it, but I think it's more important during eclipsed season. Okay, so this is like starting this new journey and just like spreading your wings and fly. And do you remember that quote where it's like, what if I fall? And she goes, darling, but what if you fly? And it's like just changing your perspective and just having that, that courage to step forth. Maybe some of you haven't taken these steps yet, or maybe you've been thinking about it, but you haven't actually taken action but that's okay because if you've been thinking about it, then that's something that you can totally carry forth starting um, when we go into the new moon. So, so far we have the Fool. The Fool is from the is a major arcana card, which is massive. It's it's one of it's like a life event. Something brand new is happening. There's literally going to be changing what you are working towards. Whether this is romantic, whether this is a job, whether this is like I don't know what floats your boat right now there is something that is asking you to spread your wings and to fly allow fear to stay in the back seat and you take the wheel all right angels what else do we need to know from one day just one more card from oh it just flipped over in here Ooh, seven of swords okay we had this recently not too long ago i'd probably say like two weeks ago we had this card which is, this is kind of like, don't get caught up in all the bullshit because it's like, he's turned, he's got black feet and he's got the wings, like he's starting to become evil and maybe the darkness or the fear is starting to come in. Um, this is also about like deceit. This is about not owning up to your mistakes. Like maybe you hurt somebody, maybe you've done something wrong and you haven't spoken up about it. This is you like hiding away, um, but you're not proud. This is not a moment to be proud of. But what's really beautiful is that when these moments arrive, you just say, I am where I am and it's okay. And if you have done something wrong, then change it so you put yourself on the right track. I'm on the right track, baby. I was born this way. All right, what do we need to know for, so going into Tuesdays about something new. So this is when you're going to rest. You need to rest. Now I know that this is going to be during the middle of the week for you. So this for me in Australia is Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and part of Friday because the um, the new moon solar eclipse isn't until like lunchtime for me on Friday. But I'll put on the just have a look on the screen right now and I'll tell you when the new moon is. So the balsamic moon resting and reflecting about how far you have come. What do we need to know for this time? Oh. Ooh, okay. This one is about conflict and it's about protecting what is rightly yours. This is like the mama bear protecting her little babies over here. This is, it's interesting because I swear that these two cards that came up, I think two weeks ago, came up in the same deck. So it's interesting that we're reflecting on these events. Ah, oh, that totally fits in. So maybe the breathing with ease is only the fool. Yeah, so the breathing is with ease is I'm not. Yeah, <laughs> this is what I'm trying to say. That this stage of the moon, the last quarter, which is Monday, is just reflecting on starting this new chapter and having the courage or just thinking about it, not really taking action just yet. And then I feel like the balsamic moon is about reflecting on the contrast, you know? Reflecting on these two. Things that really didn't serve you, or how did you navigate out of these like toxic environments? Because oh, this is, I love how this happens. I love how cards come back around. Goes around, goes around, goes around, goes all the way back around. Hey girl. Da -da 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 -da. I keep thinking of the cover of Esme Denter's, I don't know if you've watched her on YouTube, she covered Justin Timberlake's song and I think he actually signed her, but I just keep hearing her version of it. So it's like, how did you navigate through those areas, you know? Did you feel, like, listen to your intuition, like, look on the screen right now, 
what did your emotions tell you because they're the perfect indicator to let you know if you are on the right track or if you haven't if, if you're not and if you are not then it's okay because you have the power to change your thoughts your actions and how you move forward out of these situations Ooh, okay so I think this is th reflecting about how far you have come because maybe some of you have done something in these situations that you haven't done before yeah maybe did some of you like make a mistake that you've never made before and you're like really punishing yourself or I feel like I feel like this is more so to do with like confrontation with other people. I feel like this is more so about you being around like low vibrational people and how did you protect your energy during this time? You know, did you actually start exercising? Did you incorporate a new self-love practice to allow your mental health to stay at a higher vibration? For me this month, as you guys know, I started going to yoga and I have been consistent for a month now, which is amazing. And I actually started in the balsamic moon, which is crazy. And I did that to cope with contrast. And it also makes me feel really, really good. <laughs> okay, so I feel like that's all we need for the balsamic moon. Let's spend the majority of our time talking about the solar eclipse new moon in Cancer. Now, before I pull a card, I just wanted to talk to you about Cancer. Cancer is like the crab, having a hard exterior but a very soft interior. And a crab is also an animal that can be in the sea and on land. So that's also talking about balance. And oh, I just think this is a really beautiful energy. Cancers are, are very much a, they're very drawn to like home situations, feeling comfortable in their home, having good relationships with their families. It's also about building strong foundations of where you live. It's also about having the, the strong identity of the self. It's very nurturing and very motherly and very welcoming and very inviting. So I'm so interested to see what comes up for you guys. All right, angels, what do we need to know for the solar eclipse new moon in Cancer, which is gonna be starting on Friday the 13th. Wow, okay. The first card, oh my goodness, is the Seven of Pentacles. This is an absolute beautiful card. This card is about picking abundance. See these fruits here, they're ripe and they're fresh and they're ready to be picked. And she's just popping them into her little basket, which is interesting because it's like she's picking the fruits. Like she's, maybe she planted the seeds. Like I know you guys have been working really, really hard <laughs> From, I would say for the last six months since the beginning of the year I've noticed a massive shift in the way that you guys interact with me especially in the comment section and I'm read to see what you guys have been doing which just blows me away and so it's like you guys have been taking like little steps but you haven't but then you're picking the fruit so maybe this is the right time to pick to eat the fruit what comes up I just feel like this is the right time I feel like it, I just think this is the perfect time I'm just getting timing right now all right let's get clarity on that one so that was the seven of Pentacles Pentacles is abundance in like every form it's just picking abundance because it's now ripe okay let's get clarity on the seven of Pentacles what do we need to know angels Oh, thank you very much. Ooh, okay. Now we have the Ace of Cups. Cups represents your emotions. It's just emotions taking me over. And the Ace is the beginning. So it's like our emotions, it, it's a new emotion that we're feeling. Maybe we haven't, maybe what we're working towards is, an, is we've known it's coming, but we haven't really felt the emotions of how it's going to feel because now we're actually in it we've been like I kind of see it like 
preparing for a trip and you're like packing your suitcase and you have everything ready and like the night before you're like oh my god I forgot this and then you quickly add it and then you get in a plane and you fly to your destination and I feel like when you get to the destination I feel like that's where you are now because it's like you have if you, you know I don't know if you're into travel but you have the um, the finances to either fund this or you have the time I see this is I just feel like this is a lot to do with timing this card and this new time where you have just arrived it's like these new emotions that you haven't really felt before this could be this could be fear coming up this could be excitement this can be like holy shit what have I done or this can be like oh my god yes I've stepped into my power it doesn't matter where you are as long as you are feeling the emotions and you are doing whatever you possibly can to stay in vibrational alignment with that because that is the most important things because as I've said before our emotions are the perfect indicator to let us know if we are on the right track and if we fall off track it's okay it's all about picking ourselves back up and starting again I don't know why that just came up just then but yes yeah, so this is about timing and feeling different like this is a, a new feeling maybe you haven't even felt before there must be something there that wasn't there before Ooh. oh my god it's the page of wands wands is about our passion projects the things that set our soul on fire not fire it just makes us feel really really good and it's like she's playing the violin and she's got all these beautiful little foxes around her that are just like just listening to this beautiful high vibrational sound and it's like she's the master of her own reality she is in charge and she has other people like paying attention to her I just see this as you in alignment I see this you doing the things that you love that make you feel like the most beautiful person in the whole wide world I see this as you as someone who's just so nurturing and loving and someone who loves to share their talents with other people I see this as she's by herself it's like she's in the center of attention but she's also like very oh no she's also playing I thought they had to be a duo have a look here there's like two other little animals that are playing with her one on the drums and one on like a guitar and it's like they're playing together in unison and I I just feel that she's very much like a leader a teacher someone who is just shining bright and other people are looking up to her for either mentorship or guidance or maybe it's just for somebody else's enjoyment to mm, I'm not too sure how that one sits with me I just think this is a really really beautiful card so let's get clarity so so far for the solar eclipse new moon in cancer we have the seven of pentacles the ace of cups and the page of wands so let's get clarity on those three angels what do my mk love fam need to know for this time what do they need to know okay thank you very much i just love how they just sometimes just gently slide out whoa we got the star card we've had this a lot this is about like allowing the beautiful stars to guide you stars could be like your intuition your higher knowing it's like that that feeling in your belly where you like you know that this is the right decision and it's like before fear even comes in you just have this inner knowing that you are on the right path an example of this for me is in regards to my coaching my coaching, I bought a course to learn about how to set up my coaching business um, and to build my empire. And I've been talking about this for months and I actually sold my car, downgrade, downgraded the car that I had to pay for the course because I knew that this is what I was meant to do and I had all these signs and the universe was like, Mel, you need this course. This course is going to help shift your whole reality because the way I, I had in the past been running my business. I did the best I could with the knowledge and understanding that I had at the time but I knew that I was destined for greatness and what I was doing wasn't working and that's why I decided to shift into coaching but I haven't technically started my course I haven't launched my eight-week course yet or it's a six-week or eight-week I don't know how long it is yet I haven't really worked it out 
But I've had this inner knowing that this is what I meant to do, but I had these roadblocks that came up. It's like, okay, you need to find secure um, financial abundance. So each week you're not going to waver um, and allow your root chakra to like suck you dry kind of thing. It's like you have the stability, the financial stability in place and then work your magic and we're gonna take you to this beautiful realm. And it's like, when you wish upon a star, it's like, it doesn't matter who you are, you know? When you wish upon a star, it don't matter who you are. It's like you have all the power and everything that you literally could ever possibly want is on the other side of fear. And this is the right time. This is the right time to, to start. I don't know what this card means to you, but to me, this is, this is signifies the right time. It's right for your picking. It's the right time for you to, to line every, like you have been lining everything up and now you've started to get all the, the all of the puzzle pieces. Now it's time for you to sit down and put all of the pieces together because you can now start. And that's how I feel for you guys. And this, I just feel like these new feelings that you are going through is going to be like, so unfamiliar to you but like so liberating because you have worked bloody hard to get to where you are and i feel like you're just going to vibrate in the frequency of love you're going to become unstoppable other people are going to turn their heads at you and they're going to notice you i think alicia keys has a song called wait till they see me smile that i just kind of heard part of that yeah because everything that you want is coming. So you really need to be super flipping clear. Like I mean super clear about writing down what is your intention for this new moon? What do you want to happen over the next six months? And I want you to join me on live. Um, as you know, I do a live Q&A tea time with you um, each new moon. And I'm gonna be doing this on Saturday at 7 a.m but I'll give you a link at the end of this video for you to check that one out. It's actually crazy that that song came up because I don't even remember the last time that I heard that song. So yeah, I feel like this is all about like, wait till they see me smile, wait till they see that what I'm working on during this time manifests into your reality and you're like, yeah, I knew it was gonna work. I knew that this was the right path for me and I'm unstoppable and I am incredible and everything that I could possibly ever dream of is literally on its way to me. And the way that I know that is I can feel it in my bones. I can feel it in my vibration and my, my vibration is just so high. I'm vibrating on the frequency of love and when I'm there, I have no resistance and that's when everything literally manifests into my reality. Gosh, guys, this is so beautiful. All right, what else do we need to know? What do we need to know, angels? We have clarity for the new moon solar eclipse in Cancer. What do my MK love fam need to know? Ah, okay. We have three cards. I'm gonna pull the first one and see if we actually need to talk about the other two. So the first one is, oh, it's the 10 of cups. This is like, a partnership or a balancing of masculine feminine I just feel it's like a balancing and it's like pure unconditional love and it's just joyful it's not the lovers card but it's kind of like it's just it's just breathing with ease I just feel like this is like a very content and very rewarding and very heartfelt and it's not stressful it's just pure bliss all right let's get the other two cards Wow uh, okay <laughs> to break this cycle we have this card the three of swords so this is like fear this is like releasing the negativity I feel like this is kind of like even though this card always makes me go like Ooh, it's also beautiful because it allows you that if things come up especially fear during this new time to say fear I've got this you know I've got this I am driving you can come on the road trip with me but you are sitting in the back seat uh -uh -uh. you are not touching the steering wheel you are not touching the music and you know what you're just gonna sit there and chill so thanks so much for coming it's like if, if this pain comes up because there's gonna be wounds that are always gonna come up especially when we're starting something new and just say I am amazing I am incredible I'm unstoppable and this is where you totally need to up your self-love practices and if fear comes in I want, really want you to focus on um, my mirror work challenge. My mirror work challenge where I, 
I spoke about this saying like, what do you love about yourself? What do you forgive about yourself? And what do you commit to doing today? So maybe this is gonna help you with this to stay focused, to stay grounded. And maybe the mirror work challenge becomes part of your self-love practices during this new time. Maybe you need to add something new. Ooh, okay. Then the other card that came up in this trio was the Wheel of Fortune. It's like, you've got the power, you know? The Wheel of Fortune can turn either way though. So if you allow fear to come in and this negativity and you don't deal with these issues or these unhealed wounds, you know, the things can go real sour for you or they could go really good if you are doing the things that make you feel good. You're breaking through the fear and you're, and you're just feeling the pain. You know, it's okay to feel pain. It's okay to cry. I cry all the time, you know. <laughs> I think the more intuitive I get and the more in touch with my feelings and emotions, the more I'm like, you know what, I feel sad. I'm going to cry and I need Peter to cuddle me for a little bit. I'm going to write it down on a piece of paper and I'm going to burn the shit out of it and just take it to the beach and then spread the ashes and I'm like, <gasps> Yeah, because as Alicia Keys says, wait till they see me smile. You know, you have to smile before you actually see it. That's why I had that whole series called Act As If. You have to act as if you already have what you want, you know? Before Peter and I got engaged last year, which we actually got engaged in the lunar eclipse, which was the full moon, and which the um, numerology was 888. <laughs> Infinite love and abundance. and. I already knew, I already felt engaged. We, I don't know, from day one, we already had this connection, not day one because we were housemates, but like two weeks into dating, I already knew that I was gonna marry him. Like I never felt like that before. It was just this intense, overwhelming, beautiful love that I've never felt on this level before. And where am I going with this? Oh, acting as if, yeah. <laughs> and it's like, I already knew that we were, we had a deep connection and just like a ring is just a material aspect which signifies love according to the catholic church which i did some research the other day and found out that people wear rings in the olden times it was linked to the wearing the rings of saturn oh my god anyways so long story short what i'm trying to tell you is that you need to act as if you already have what you want if you want to be a fully booked successful coach like me then you need to be acting as if you need to be calling your clients you need to be you know doing the research you need to be dedicating days to like marketing you need to be dedicating days to doing email um oh i can't even remember the name of it or the email marketing there's just a lot of things involved if you want to be you know if you want to be, have a fit, healthy body, then you need to start acting as if you already got it. And if you already got it, then what the heck are you wearing to the gym? How are you acting? What are you eating? More importantly, what is the company that you're keeping? Because everything is connected. This is a holistic realm. So you really need to act as if. That's basically long story short. You need to act as if you have already what you want because the ingredients are right for your success is going to come in and you're going to say thank you thank you thank you thank you because you're telling me you're showing me an area in which i need to heal and as soon as i heal that it's like you level up think of it like a little super mario game you level up to the next level and so much delicious goodness is coming for you my love i am so excited for you like i want you to go back and watch my previous solar eclipse and new no solar eclipse and lunar eclipse which was around august last year Go back and watch them and see what, you know, read the comments. What did you write back then? It's just interesting. It is so beautiful. This is an absolute beautiful time, my love. I cannot wait to hear from you. I hope this has given you some clarity. If you would like some individualized clarity, then please book yourself a private reading because I would love, 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 love to read for you. And yeah. Comment below, let me know what is coming up for you during this time. I'll be responding to you from 7 a.m. to 8 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. Have an amazing week. Please take time off social media. Join me on live so we can set our intentions together and really get cracking on exactly what you want to manifest for the next six months because this is where we're gonna start the delicious goodness. And yeah. Have a beautiful week. I love you. I love you. I love you. And I'll talk to you on Saturday on the live. And yeah, so that'll be most of your Friday night for most of you. Anyway, I love you. I love you. I love you. I will see you on Saturday. Bye.